Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Got Game Testers, and today's game we're play testing is a computer hacking game called Firewall. Firewall is a computer hacking game, and this is kind of the mainframe computer, and it's got four different ports that you're going to try to hack into. The person who can control the most ports is the winner, and you're going to do that by rolling three dice a turn. You're going to look at the three dice, and you're going to pick which one you want to use, and you're going to play it on one of the ports. If you don't like what your options are, you can simply discard one, re-roll the other two, and hopefully you get something that you actually need, in this case, and then play it there. Otherwise, you have to pass your turn. Now, what do all the dice do? Uh, the, the, the first and most important part are the packets. Packets are these numbered um, sides that actually give you um, control. Whoever has the highest sum is going to give you control of the port. What other people could do is they can come in and they can try to use firewalls to stop you from playing on those ports. If you need to, you can actually turn around and spike their dice um, and you can take it out completely or you can simply use the back door here and try to continue on building more onto that port. Um, there's not really much else to the dice here other than if uh, one player plays two firewalls on the same port, then they force the, um, the port to be closed off forever and the game ends once everyone has played all of their dice or has closed off all four ports. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you straight off the bat um, some some foreshadowing of what's going to happen to this game. Okay, first of all, the game is um, not going to be as simple as I just explained. The, I've talked to the designer, uh, we're going to actually add player characters so you can actually have a special ability go along with the game. There's an ability to save one die. If you actually roll three dice and you need two out of the three or even more, then you can save them off to the side for later. Unfortunately, they become vulnerable so people can attack those dice, that kind of thing. Um, you can actually start attacking each other, hacking each other's computers. There's gonna be different scenarios altogether eventually where the boards will have different, instead of just hacking the four ports, you'll have different scenarios altogether. Lots to look forward to. Also, uh, the what version that I have is the red, green, blue, and white version. There will be a cyan, magenta, yellow, and some other lilac, I don't know, something, some other colors. Um, there's gonna be four other colors in a different box. It's gonna be the exact same game, but you'll just see the two different uh, sets so you can play up to eight players. Now, I can't really give you a review on what it's like to play with eight players, but I know that's kind of their objective. So, it'll be really great to see what happens what they, when they do with that. It is a very light game, super light. Um, I'm talking five minutes tops, okay? I mean, it's quick. I, even with the, the, the analysis paralysis guys, um, the worst case scenario is maybe 10 seconds of thinking. Uh, it's also very light, kid friendly, so it's seven, ages seven and up. Now, is there some design critical errors? At first there was, but after a lot of talking, they've, they've revamped a whole lot of things. So what you saw in the video isn't necessarily everything that you're gonna see, but unfortunately I can't give you a review on that. You're just gonna have to check it out on their Kickstarter. Okay, so for my opinion, however, does, do I think it's got game? I definitely think it's got game, but you have to remember what kind of market it's for. It's, it's kind of like a light, light-hearted, Beer and pretzels, you know, kind of off the cuff, waiting for your friends, filler type game, okay? Um, like I said, tops five minutes, you can play several games, especially if there's two people. I like the theme. I don't think that there's enough um, games that are like this, in my opinion. I personally don't think it's gonna make you feel like you're in the Matrix per se, or that you're gonna be the next big hacker or anything like that, but it is a fun game. It's light, it's, it's lighthearted. Let me just tell you something like something personal about myself. I, I'm kind of a sucker for custom dice. Now, I'm not a sucker for all dice and dice chucking, okay? I am a sucker for custom dice because I like to see cool new components. And to me, dice is the easiest way to make a brand new component. I personally think the art's fantastic as well. Do I think you should get it? Only if you need another filler game, okay? I think you should get a game, uh, this one, if you really could use one that's five minutes long, because there's some filler games and they take 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Uh, but this one, really, really short, but also very, very fun, and you can play several games in a row. Can there make, be improvements? Yes, but there will be, okay? So I'm not too worried about the improvements on that. When they add the other components to it, the character, the player powers and things like that, there'll be definitely more depth to the game. Do I recommend that you go out and get this? Yes, I think you should go out, go ahead and get this if you like the theme and if you need, uh, if you like dice checking. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about this game other because it's such a, a light um, game as in itself. 
So go ahead and check them out on Kickstarter very, very soon. Furthermore, if you haven't already, go ahead and check us out at our, our website at gotgametesters.com. You can see all the episodes that we've ever posted there. And if you want a game on, you can go to Playtest HQ. Uh, uh, it's a Facebook page that we made where you can uh, see what other people are working on and talk about anything board game related that you want. But more importantly, if you want to playtest some stuff, you can go there. Or if you need your stuff playtested. If you're a designer out there and you need your game playtested, let us know. Uh, we're more than willing to take uh, your games at this time. And that concludes another episode of Got Game Testers for you. If you enjoyed that, please stay tuned because we got way more episodes coming up. Anyway, enjoy life, folks, and uh, keep gaming. We will see you next time on another episode of Got Game Testers. Mm -hmm.